Hey guys, so now that we know what we can do with React, we have seen the examples. So let's start and start doing things. So the first thing you will need is an editor. The editor that I usually use and I recommend, probably I've been using it for the last couple of years and I love it. Uh, probably now I'm used to it enough, but I've used many editors including Notepad, Notepad++, uh, you can say Eclipse, IntelliJ as well as Atom. But I still prefer Sublime Text over them because I like it personally. You can still go ahead and choose your uh, favorite editor, but if not, I'll show you what to do. You can just go to sublimetext.com slash three, which is the third version of the tool. And then you can download Sublime Text for your operating system. So feel free to do that. I'll also share this URL with you in the resources so you can use that. So once you install Sublime Text, you can see something like this as a window coming up when you open any file. Now, the next thing you need is Node.js because we are going to be building an application and not just the user interface so that we have a server, we have our tools and we can see everything in action in real time, including hard deployment. So I'm preparing you for uh, Node.js and Express based website so that you can code your own websites when you want to using React.js. So the next thing you need to do is probably get Node.js. Now the way you can get Node.js is go to Node.js.org then click on the latest LTS version because this is the recommended version. This version is way ahead of time for everything. So make sure you use the LTS version and you can get that installation done. Once you click it will get you the related package that you need. Otherwise you can go to other downloads and select the download that you need for yourself which suits your operating system. Now that being said, once you do the download and the installation, you can go and check the version of the node that has been installed and it's you can do that by node-v. Now please bear in mind that my version is a little older one because my other applications depend on this version and they are not yet compatible with the latest version but it doesn't matter for this course. So if your version says 6.9.2 or probably if you're doing this course a little later, you might uh, see an incre increased version. So it's completely okay, don't don't worry, don't panic. The next thing that comes along with the Node.js is the package which is called npm. npm is nothing but a node package manager. So what you do is the npm usually comes along with and even if you go on to npm, you just go here. npm, you can treat npm as a central file system where all these packages are already present. All the JavaScript libraries are already in place. You run a particular command and you get the library into your locals. It's very easy. In fact, if you have never used it, you will fall in love with it soon. There's another competitor for NPM that has come in. It's called Yearn. I think it's by Facebook too. Uh, I think you can use either of it, NPM or Yearn. But NPM is already in the industry for so long. You very much have all the packages that you will need in JavaScript at NPM. So when you install Node, you will also have NPM installed. You can just do a verification saying NPM v. Now it might happen your npm version is not updated or probably is outdated because it's packaged with node. You can very well go ahead and do this where you'll say npm install latest g. And the way you will do it is if you're using a sudo or not an admin, make sure you have a sudo command given in and you can type in this command and it will install the latest npm as well. So before we move ahead, there are three things we did. One is we installed a text editor, which was sublime text. Two, we installed Node.js, which was out here. And three, we validated NPM and the Node versions using this. And if NPM is not installed, we can go onto this page, get NPM, and make sure we run NPM install NPM at the rate latest hyphen G. Hyphen G, init, hyphen G means it's a global installation. So you don't have to do it for every project. It will be done one time in the library.